I'm going to show you how this device uh, is able to pair with other Sony NFC enabled peripherals and how it can survive when paired and dunked. So here we've got our music player. I'm going to turn on this song. And let's say we want to listen to it on this Sony mobile speaker here. We don't need to go and hit a lot of buttons. All we need to do is hover it right over here near where the Sony chip is, where the NFC chip is. And you see that it moved, the sound moved right to the speaker. Now, let's say while we were dancing around to this, we dropped our phone in some water. You notice that the music continues playing even while the device is submerged. And it, can, uh, it is rated for up to a meter of water and uh, to survive up to 20 minutes, up to 30 minutes. Uh, submerged. Now what's great also, and this is a really key feature we haven't seen on other such phones, is even when wet, the touch screen has a wet finger detector. So you see I was able to actually hit the pause button even though there's water all over the capacitive touch screen. Uh, and normally when you drop a device like this, you've got to dry it out really, really well before you can use it again. And Sony's technology actually can detect a wet finger uh, on a wet screen and that's really impressive. So that was just a quick look at the, some of the interesting features of the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. It is going to uh, be out on a number of carriers uh, around, around the world in Q1 uh, using LTE connectivity. We don't yet have US availability or specific carriers yet, uh, but we look forward to seeing more of this really groundbreaking and interesting phone.